क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी टू टू वन एट नाइन इज डिवाइड इन टू थ्री पार्ट एंड इन्वेस्टेड सच दैट दी अमाउंट ऑफ द वन टू एंड थ्री इज रिस्पेक्टिवली आर इक्वल रेट ऑफ सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इज फोर परसेंट पर एन एम इन ऑल केसेज फाइन विथ ऑल पार्ट Okay. We need to find the smallest part. So let us assume the smallest part is equal to okay, uh, okay. x. Let 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 take the three parts to be x for time there. So I can start by saying one point zero three part find the smallest part. So let us assume the three parts are x, y, and z. If the smallest part be x, this will be the middle part, and this should be the biggest part. So, if all three of them are increased, and such that the amount of the one, two, and three years are equal, so obviously the smallest part will have to be increased for three years, while the biggest part will be it only for one year. So, I can say one point one two into x, or twelve percent increase of a of the smallest part. Should be equal to 1.08 y equal to 1.04 z. This is what the question is saying. Find the smallest part. The c numbers are two one. The sum of the c numbers are two one eight nine. So x plus y plus z is equal to two one eight nine. So the first thing which I want you to understand is that the smallest part is all c of them are equal. If x was equal to y equal to z, if x is equal to y equal to z, then each of them will be equal to two one eight nine upon three, which is seven zero three. Oh, sorry, uh, not seven zero three. Uh, seven hundred twenty. Seven hundred ninety by three. Seven twenty. Approximately seven hundred thirty. So if all of them were equal, they will be approximately 730, or each one of them will be 218 times by 3. So in a way, I can say the smallest part has to be lesser than. Okay, the smallest part x has to be lesser than 730. So all t is incorrect. If if all t of them x, y, z were equal. Then each one of them will be nothing but two one eight nine by three, which is approximately seven hundred thirty. So if each one of them was equal, which would be seven thirty, but in this case the three of them are not equal, so the big, the smallest part should be less than seven thirty, and the biggest part should definitely be greater than seven thirty. So in other words, the smallest part, the answer cannot be seven hundred fifty six. Choice C is incorrect. Okay. Now let's proceed further with this question. Now, the way out here would be to convert everything we know that x plus y plus z is equal to two one eight nine. Okay, so so I would like to convert everything in terms of x because that that is smallest part. So let me just I think I need to clean this place. So we know that one point one two x equal to one point zero eight y equal to one point zero four. Z. Okay, so if I look at just these two, I can say y is equal to 1.12 upon 1.08. Similarly, I can say z is equal to 1.12x upon 1.04. Okay, and this you should substitute in x plus y plus z equal to 2.89. Now this I can assure you is not a very easy calculation. So an easier thing could be if it says there is nothing but approximately 1.04 x. Similarly, there is nothing but 1.08 x. I am just taking the approximate value out here. So in other words, I can say x plus 1.04 x plus 1.08 x is equal to 2189. So 1 to 3.12 x is equal to 2189. So x should be equal to two one eight nine upon three point one two. Approximately, what value do you get for x out here? So, approximately, you will get this as let's say 
uh, around 700. Okay. Among the choices, very low, very low, very low. Choice key in any case was incorrect. Correct answer is 703. Okay. So the key thing out here was the approximation which I did out here. Okay. Just to make your main I mean, understanding easier again, if you look at the, the numbers, we, we said I have approximated 1.12 upon 1.04 to be equal to 1.08. And I have approximated 1.12 upon 1.08 to be equal to 1.04. Now, this is the approximation which tells me for the question. Otherwise, the simple question x plus y plus z is equal to 2189. Okay. Okay. And we are saying. Uh, We are saying this is uh, uh, z equal to this, y equal to this. So this is the, the equation from out. Okay, approximation needs to be Equation to be Equation to be done. Equation to go through it again. The first thing is the three parts are x, y, and z. So x plus y plus z has to be 2189. This is given the question. I am saying let x be the smallest part. This is the smallest. This is the biggest. Okay. Okay. Now the question says that they are interested in such that the amounts after 1, 2 and 3 years are equal. So the smallest part increased by 3 years by 4% is nothing but any year you get 4%, so in 3 years you get 12%, or so it will become 1.1210, so it will become 1.128. The middle part after 2 years will be 1.08, and the biggest part after 1 year will be 1.04z. Okay. Now look at these two equations, x, y, z. y is nothing but 1.12 upon 1.08 and similarly z is nothing but 1.12x upon 1.04 which is nothing but 112 upon 108 now you have to approximate it and similarly this is equal to 112 upon 104 so you have to substitute these values as x plus 112 upon 108x plus 112 upon 104 x is equal to 2189. So this is the question which you have to solve now. Now, obviously, if you look at the exact values of this, this will be a very difficult calculation. Why? Because this is effectively nothing but 25, 27. 28. This is 28 by 27 x and this is equal to 28 by 26x, or which is nothing but 14 by 39. You will have a difficult time calculating this. So, so the suggestion is why don't you approximate? Even if you have to do this, what is 14 by 13 equal to? 1 by 13 is 7.7% 7 7 to 14 by 13 is 107.7%. So, effectively, this is nothing but 1.077. Okay. So, Approximating it to 1.08 is not a bad option. So here I just took a very simple process for myself. I said I am approximating this as 1. Point. Let me just change the color of the pen. I am approximating y as, or rather, I am approximating this particular. This is nothing but 1.04, and this is similarly nothing but. 1.08 substitute get the answer.